All right, welcome back to the Worst Possible Commander Show. I am joined by my friends, CGB. Hi. Shay and Ben. Hello. You're back. I'm here. Welcome back. I, be- I missed one, but you this did. that's okay. That's okay. I'm, I'm back and excited to play with Lord of the Rings cards. Me too. And boy, do we have a story to tell tonight. So we are sponsored by CoolStuffInc.com. Use the promo code WORST at checkout to show that you, uh... You're going to use it. No. <laughs> Make sure to use promo code WORST at checkout to show some support for the show and just let them know that we're the ones who sent you. Uh, what we like to do on the show is we talk about the worst possible thing our decks can do and who we are playing. So I'm playing Tom Bombadil. Which I am so hyped to play. He's a 5 mana 4-4 four, four in Wooburg, and as long as there are four more lore counters among sagas I control, Tom Bombadil has Hexproof and Indestructible. Whenever the final chapter ability of a saga you control resolves, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a saga card. Put that card onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library. It only triggers once a turn. So I'm going to just play a ton of sagas. I'm going to use all the... I've got all the best ones in here. I'm just going to cycle through them. My worst possible is to eerie ultimatum the, like, ten sagas in my graveyard onto the battlefield again and just do kill everyone via triggers. Or I can Starfield of Nyx, turn all of my sagas into creatures, and turn them sideways at my friends. CGB, who are you playing, and what's the worst thing you're going to do to us? You're going to attack us with stories. Sure. Yeah. Aggressive <laughs> storytelling. I love that. That's actually how I've always wanted to kill people. <laughs> it's how you live your life. It's true. <laughs> a quarter a quarter story at a time. Yeah. A quarter saga at a time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you lived his life a quarter saga at a time, and so did I. And that's how, how I knew we were brothers. <laughs> uh, well, I am here to play Gandalf the White. I think it just had to happen. Uh, it's, yeah. Somebody's been running around here cosplaying Gandalf for a few episodes. It's time to actually play the card. So this is a five mana, four five flash, and I may cast legendary spells and artifact spells as though they had flash. You know you know I love you that. You do love Flash. You know I love that. If a legendary permanent or an artifact entering or leaving the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent I control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. So, yeah, a little bit of Elish Norn, but only for artifacts and legendaries at flash speed and double death triggers. So, what I'm calling my worst possible, I honestly, guys, I, I don't know. I, I, I haven't even thought about it. There is probably some kind of an infinite loop in this deck between Scrap Trawler, Cart Clan Ironworks, Tashar, Ancestor's Apostle, and Lauren, Disciple of History, because I'm sure with double triggers, I can get stuff back and make mana and get stuff back and make mana. And I don't even know what the loop is. I just, I'm, we're, I'm just gonna find out because I'm excited to play with Gandalf the White. So these cards just went in the deck. We're gonna, see, the worst thing that happens is I take a turn for like 20 minutes that doesn't actually end the game. <laughs> You're gonna let the deck inspire your worst possible. Exactly. I, You guys will be able to tell me afterwards. How bad was it for you? <laughs> Figure it out as you go, huh? Exactly. Uh, yeah, so the uh, commander I brought today is Sauron, the Lidless Eye, because today we are being very, very evil. Um, and so Sauron is a uh, five mana cost, four, four. Uh, when Sauron enters the battlefield, gain control of target creature and opponent controls until end of turn. Untap it. It gains haste until end of turn. And then it also has this very cool uh, three mana cost ability, which says creatures you control get plus two, plus O until end of turn. Each opponent loses two life. So I'm gonna be hoping to steal y'all things and then uh, sacrifice them with my deck. Uh, and for my worst possible, I've got a cheeky little combo here with an anime dead and a world gorger dragon to create infinite mana, put all of that into my commander's ability and hit you all for many, many instances of losing two life. Maybe a Google. Maybe a Google worth. Yes, exactly. Exactly. You. So, yeah, very evil, spooky. I like ah. it. Oh, I'm going to hate it in the game, but right now it's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Ben, wh- who are you playing and what's the worst possible thing you're going to do to us? I'm playing Aragorn the Uniter. So he's a 5-5 five, five human noble. Whenever I cast a white spell, I create a 1-1 one, one human soldier token. Uh, Whenever I cast a blue spell, I scry two. Whenever I cast a red spell, he deals three damage to target opponent. And whenever I cast a green spell, target creature gets plus four, plus four until end of turn. So mine's kind of just like a good stuff deck. Lots of multicolored spells to get you guys. And when and I have just got ascendancy here. Whenever I cast a non-creature spell, all my creatures get 
one one until end of turn and I untap them. And also I get to draw a card and then discard a card if I do draw that card. Wait, so your worst possible is taking a 45 minute turn. So it's the worst possible for the editor. Yeah, but it's gonna be every turn. Oh. You're welcome, All right. editor. <laughs> oh, he just walked out. Okay, well, in any case, <laughs> we're riding solo on this one. Well, why do I always fuck that up? <laughs> <laughs> we'll run solo. All right, we've all successfully intimidated each other with our worst possibles. Let's dive in. Let the worst possible nonsense begin. CGB won the die roll on purpose, so I would go last. So CGB, go ahead. Oh, you're gonna hate me even more. No, please. Um, we'll draw for turn. And I'm going to kick this show off with a saga. I no! get the first saga of this game. Of course. It of is course. Urza's Saga, chapter one, Ag Colorless, your turn, Shay. Wow. <laughs> All right, I will draw for turn. Play a luxury suite. That'll pay one for a Viscera Seer. Pass to Ben. Draw for turn. Play a Path of Ancestry tapped, and your turn, Blake. All right, I will draw for turn. I will play a Bountiful Promenade, and pass the turn. Draw for turn. Chapter two on Urza's Saga. Stop it. Ah, it's, a, it's a great story. Do you want me to tell it to you? No. I can tell you as the story. I'm really excited about it. Your, your commander would love this card. You should play it. It's, it's right. in my... I'm going to play uh, Snow-Covered Plains, I'm going to tap for two, and I'm going to cast Icar Wellspring, which when it enters the battlefield, I draw a card, and then I'm done. All right, I'll untap, draw, we'll play a Swamp, tap two for a Mind Stone. I've got a 1-1 one, one I can swing with here. 1-1 one, one to CGB. Yeah, nice. there it is, 39. And uh, then I'll pass to Ben. Right. I'll untap, draw for turn, play a Plains for turn, Tap two and play a nature's lore. Okay, I got a Ketria Triome and that'll enter tapped. Your turn, Blake. All right, I will draw for turn. I'm gonna shotgun a godless shrine. <laughs> it's time for an arcade signet, for now. Mm. Your turn, CGB. Untap, draw. Trigger chapter three of Urza Saga. With the trigger on the stack, I'll float a colorless, sacrifice Urza Saga, and we're gonna go find an artifact that costs one or zero. All right, the card I found, you can guess, is my soul ring, <laughs> because why not? Yeah. I'm going to use the one colorless, tap the soul ring, tap a white, and I'm going to play a teleportation circle. At the beginning of my end step, I exile an artifact or creature I control, then return to the battlefield under its owner's control. I'm also going to play this planes. I'm going to move my end step. I'm going to exile the Icar Wellspring, and then I'm going to return it to the battlefield and draw a card with my teleportation circle. Okay, untap, draw. We'll play a swamp. Then I'll pay three for a commander sphere. Get him. Moving to combat. <laughs> you know it, CGB, that's one coming at you. <laughs> 38. Hmm, uh, then I'll pass to Ben. Okay. I'll untap. Draw for turn. Play a Cultivate. Okay, you got an island and a forest, and I'll put the forest on the battlefield tapped, and I'll play the island. I will pass to Blake. All right, I'll untap, draw for turn, I will play a Command Tower, and then I'm gonna start telling my own stories because your story was kind of boring. Oh, good. Have you ever heard the story of the bath song? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a real song? <laughs> what? what? You guys haven't heard the song? Rubber take ducky. a bath, take oh. a bath. Bath, bath, bath. Song. Seriously? Okay, so I, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shay, <laughs> Shay, what was your version of the bath song? Oh, it was gonna be something like, rubber ducky. <laughs> oh, laying down a beat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, got, you were already, you were had it. The pressure, the pressure was too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rubber ducky bath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rub a ducky, you're the one. Oh, you make bath time so much fun. There we go. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I am embarrassed. Can we cut all of it, please? You're the one. 
my God. Well, in all of that, my saga goes to chapter one. Hold on, I'll take that back when we're not all laughing indiscriminately. All right, so the, ba the bath song enters on chapter one, so I will draw two cards and discard a card. I will discard this gorgeous unglued planes and pass the turn. All right, let's untap and draw for turn. Drop a gorgeous snow-covered planes. It's fine. I'll tap the soul ring and I'll cast a liquid metal torque, which can turn a non-land permanent into an artifact in addition to other types. I will move to my end step. I'm going to target the soul ring with my teleportation circle and return it to the battlefield untapped. Go ahead, Shay. That's a lot of mana that's open. We're chilling, we're chilling. Hmm. I'll untap. All right, I'm gonna pay three for Ayara, Widow of the Realm. Uh, she has a tap and sacrifice another creature or artifact. Ayara, Widow of the Realm, deals X damage to target opponent or battle, and you gain X life, where X is a sacrifice permanence mana value. And then it also has a pay five and a Phyrexian ability to transform Ayara, activate only as a sorcery. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna share the love. I'm gonna send one to Ben. I'll take the one, go on a 39. That's all I got. Over to you, Ben. All right, I'll untap. I'm gonna shotgun in a sacred foundry. Jeez. I'm gonna tap four and get Aragorn out of here. When he enters, I'll scry one from the Path of Ancestry. I will bottom that card, sadly. <clears throat> tap two for a growth spiral, but on the stack, I'm gonna scry two and the uh, green doesn't really matter, but I'll give Aragorn plus four plus four until end of turn. Nice. I'll keep one on top and bottom the other. So from the growth spiral then, I'll draw a card, and I may play an additional land this turn, which will be a planes. Your turn, Blake. All right, I'll untap, I will draw for turn, and then it's time for the bath song. I'm gonna play a nesting grounds. So let's me move a counter from target permanent I control to another target permanent as a sorcery. All right, I'm gonna discard a Teferi's protection, actually. Whoa. Say what? He's going out without protection. Not like in a weird way, though, like in a parent parental <laughs> way. <laughs> I don't think you needed to clarify. It wasn't, well, it wasn't weird I don't know, until like, like, <laughs> you made like a weird face. <laughs> Did she teach you the bath song? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna spend four for an Elder Dragon War. Uh, I'm going to put it on the first chapter. So when enters the battlefield, each creature an opponent controls and each opponent takes two damage. Oh. So everyone's creatures take two and then they lose two. Okay, in response, I'm gonna sacrifice my Viscerous Year to itself to scry one. All right. Two damage. Two damage to everybody. And then I'm gonna pass the turn to CGB. On your end step, <laughs> I will flash in Gandalf the White. So now my legendary spells and artifact spells may be cast as though they had flash. I will play a war room. Moving to combat. Gandalf the White will attack a resident bath song expert. Blake, <laughs> coming at you for commander. All right, no blocks. My songs and stories can't block, so. I will move to my end step and activate teleportation circle. I'm going to flicker the Icker Wellspring. So when this returns to the battlefield, I will draw a card, but that will trigger an additional time because it's an artifact entering the battlefield. So I will draw two cards. Moving to my end step, I will discard a snow-covered planes. Go ahead, Shay. All right, I will untap. All right, we're paying five to cast Sauron the Lidless Eye. Is it gonna Ooh, be? Spooky. So when Sauron enters, I am going to target Gandalf the White. Gandalf the White in the eye of Sauron? Yes. The gaze is upon him? Yes. Well, Gandalf always finds a way out of these things. So I have responses, mm -hmm. as you may have expected. Mm -hmm. Response number one. Yes. I am going to cast at instant speed Archaeomancer's Map. When this enters the battlefield, I search my library for up to two basic planes, but that's gonna trigger an additional time because of Gandalf. So I'm gonna search my library for four basic planes. <laughs> but that's not all. Yeah. Absolutely not. I have more instant speed responses. Mm -hmm. And here is a fun one. I am going to flash in Lauren of the Third Path 
at instant speed because of Gandalf, and when she enters the battlefield, she will trigger twice because of Gandalf the White. So I am going to destroy the Elder Dragon War, because I thought the bass song was cooler. And I am going to destroy your Mind Stone, Shay. All right, one more response before Gandalf falls into the clutches of Sauron. Mm -hmm. He's going to go on a path to exile. So I'm going <laughs> to ramp for a plains and exile Gandalf back to my command zone. All right, two command zone for Gandalf the White and a snow-covered plains on the battlefield tapped. Commander Tax moves to one, path to the graveyard. Mm -hmm. Sauron ability fizzles. Proceed. Uh, I will move to combat and swing on you for three. Yeah, three points coming in. All right, I will pass to you, Ben. Right. Let's have four and cast Omnath Locus of Creation. Oh my God. <laughs> this is what I should have passed. Hello? <laughs> oh no. So that will trigger Ar all four of Aragorn's abilities. Aragorn, sorry, jeez. Uh, I'll make a one one. I will scry two, deal three damage to target opponent. I'll pick CGB. Easy choice. Yes. <laughs> and Aragorn himself will get plus four, plus four until end of turn. Here's my one one. Aragorn is getting plus four, plus four until end of turn. I will go down to 30, clearly losing this game. <laughs> and I'll scry to. Clearly. Keep one on top and bottom the other one. And now Omnath will resolve. I'll draw a card when he enters the battlefield. I'm going to play this Misty Rainforest for turn. Trigger Archaeomancer's map. I'll put this mirrored landscape onto the battlefield tapped. Go on. Nice. Continue. I'll, I'll gain four life from Omna. I'll sacrifice my Misty Rainforest, paying one life. Got a raw grin triumph, and I'll enter the battlefield tapped. Oh yeah, the map is putting in work. That's another tap snow covered plains over here. And when that enters, I'll add one of each color from Omna. Using three from the Omnath, I will cast Mantis Rider. Boom. And that will trigger Aragorn for a scry two, uh, three damage, and a, another soldier. Uh, let's go three to CGB's face. Enough! Again, <laughs> and I'll scry two. Bottom one, leave one on top yet again. Using the one green floating and these two over here, I'll play Shauna the Purif Purifying Blade. Yes, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll give Aragorn another plus four, plus four. Going to eight, or plus eight, plus eight for this turn. I will scry two and make a third human. I will bottom one and put the other one on top. I will move to combat. I will attack CGB in the air with a Mantis Rider. Ben, have you heard the story of you not attacking me this turn? Because it's a great story. I haven't heard that one. You'll have oh, to tell me, it another yeah. turn, Blake. Because this Aragorn has come at you for 13 commander. Oh. Because he's plus eight, plus eight this turn. <laughs> this is fine, guys. Yeah, this it's is fine. fine. It's fine. Oh, I'll take your 13 commander. I will take my three from the Mantis Rider in the air. Okay, at my end step, I will pay one with Shauna's ability to draw one card because I gain life this turn. Your turn, Blake. All right, Bath Song's gonna finish. Um, uh, Bath Song, I will not shuffle anything back in, but I will make two blue mana. All right, guys. Because everyone just wants to kill each other instead of listening to some gosh darn stories. <laughs> I'm going to play a forest, and I'm going to spend five mana, including the two blue from the bath salt song. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's losing it. Look in his eyes. It's getting crazy. <laughs> Might be insane. that bath salt. <laughs> I'm going to cast Battle of Frost and Fire. When it enters the battlefield, I deal four damage to all creatures. All right, four damage to all creatures. No response here. No response. No response. Oh, nice. Wow. <clears throat> the king stands alone. Well, with the rest of my three mana, I'm gonna anguish on making your commander. Wow. Whoa. Oh, wow. And I will pass the turn. I'll play one of these snow-covered planes I have lying around. I'm just gonna move to my end step and trigger my teleportation circle and uh, flicker this Icar Wellspring and draw a card. And that's that's all. Go ahead, Shay. Hmm, okay. No big deal. On tap, I'm gonna pay three for a Black Market Connections. Nice. Good card, good seems, card. Seems helpful right now. Well, that's gonna end my turn. Pass to you, Ben. All right, I'll untap. Play a Rejuvenating Springs. How many lands is that for you, Ben? 
That is nine. Ah, oh, yes. I get a snow covered plains tapped. Do the Archaeomancer do that. Tap three and play a mana cannons. Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, mana cannons deals X damage to any target where X is the number of colors that spell is. I'll tap six. And the king has returned! Dun, 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 dun. So I get to do four damage to any target. Any target. Any target. Any you target. should hit my Battle of Frost and Fire. No. Okay, good. Blake, I'll hit your face for four. What? <laughs> but Blake, it's okay, it's your turn. Whatever. You're gonna regret that. Okay, show me. Draw for turn. All right, I will trigger chapter two, so I will scry three. Put one on top and two on the bottom. Um, I'm going to spend five mana and I'm going to cast Tom Bombadil. He's here. Hi, Tom. What's up, Tom? Go ahead, CGB. End step. We're doing it. He's returning. What? It? Look, look to the look, look to the east on the third day when the sun rises. Gandalf the White has returned at flash speed from the command zone. All right, I will also sacrifice my mirrored landscape, search my library for, yeah, two planes <laughs> onto the Whoa. battlefield tap. I'm gonna flash speed out this expedition map so I can go search my library for another land. I will play this planes. I will attack Shay for four. Four from Gandalf the White, Commander. Mm-hmm. No blocks. Take four. All right, I will move to my end step. I will use Teleportation Circle to flicker. Should probably be the Archaeomancer's map. I'm not sure I have enough planes, <laughs> but I, I, let's go with the Wellspring. So this will leave, come back, double trigger from Gandalf. I will draw two cards. You're just gonna draw two planes anyway. Uh, how'd you know? <laughs> uh, and then I will pass the turn to Shay with seven in my hand. All right, I will untap. I've got a Black Market Connections trigger and I'm going to choose all three, baby. Perfect, so I will lose six life in total and I will make a treasure and shapeshifter and also draw a card. I'm gonna pay three for a Bastion of Remembrance. So when Bastion of Remembrance enters the battlefield, create a one, one white human soldier creature token. And then whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Um, okay, well, my creatures have summoning sickness, so I'm gonna move past combat and end the turn. Pass to you, Ben. Uh, on Shay's end step, I have a thing to do. Let's flash in Tashar, Ancestor's Apostle. This says whenever I cast a historic spell, I return a creature with mana value three or less from the graveyard to the battlefield. The historic spell I'm going to cast to trigger Tashar for five is a Precursor Golem. When this enters the battlefield, I create two, three, three colorless Golem artifact creature tokens. And whenever a player targets a Golem with an instant or sorcery, they copy that spell for each uh, Golem. So oh, this is gonna be exciting. Golem. This is going to trigger twice because of Gandalf, but on the stack, it triggers Tashar and Tashar is going to return Lauren of the Third Path, which will double trigger because of Gandalf. Jeez. So, mana cannons. Boom, the cannon has been cannoned. Wow. Bastion of Remembrance. No likey. <sighs> Drats. All right, the Precursor Golem is going to find its way to the battlefield. It's going to double trigger. So I'm going to make four? Yep, four, three, three golems. And if you target any of these with a spell, if any player targets an inst uses an instant or sorcery spell that targets a single golem, you copy it for each other golem. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, Shay's end step. So, Ben? Oh, okay. proceed. I will <laughs> nice. untap. That was sweet. Tap two for a Manomorphos. Add two mana of any combination of colors, draw a card. Oh God, here but we go. First, <laughs> I will give four four to Aragorn. And I will do three damage to target opponent CGB. You're getting too scary. <laughs> I'm gonna die from this. Mm -hmm. Just three damage at a time. Then I'll add a blue and a white to my mana pool and draw a card. With that two floating and a planes and two more. 
For five, I will play Eowyn, Shield Maiden. Uh, first strike, at the beginning of combat on your turn, if another human entered the battlefield under your control this turn, create two, 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 red human knight creature tokens with trample and haste. Then if you control six or more humans, draw a card. Oh god. And what happens when you cast Eowyn? Uh, yeah, I get to scry two, three damage to target opponent, and I get a one, one. Is it a human? It is a human oh soldier. Oh my goodness. Oh man. So that will trigger a win. I will scry two now. I will bottom one and keep one on top. Okay, that, that, that golem issue is a problem. Definitely a big issue, guys. What you gonna do about it? I'm gonna shoot you in the face for three. <laughs> nice. From the, from Show the yeah, yeah. Down to 18. Jeez, of feats. So I'll go to combat because a, another human entered the battlefield after a win. I will make two red um, human knight creature tokens with trample and haste. All right, Blake, it's your turn. All right, you're gonna untap. All right, so I go to my main phase and the Battle of Frost and Fire will go to its third chapter. Uh, there's a trigger for it to go to the third chapter on the stack and I will respond to that trigger with a clock spinning. What that does is it allows me to remove a counter from the Battle of Frost and Fire, and because it actually sacrifices as a state-based action, um, it actually doesn't get sacrificed because it won't have three lore counters by the time that the stack is empty. So, I will get the final ability, I will trigger Tom Bombadil, and it won't get sacrificed. Okay, so you get the chapter three thing and you get a Tom Bombadil saga goes onto the battlefield thing. Yep, I do not get the second chapter ability though because I removed a counter, I didn't add a counter to do that. So even though as two counters, you're getting ability number three and you're getting your commander to resolve it as if it ended. Okay, yep. uh, I, it's like it's over, but it's not over. It's never over. Oh my God. Well, it would have been never over had I had the man to buy back. The story never ends. Story never ends. It goes on and on, my right. friends. I will flip cards until I hit uh, Saga. I hit the Kami War. Oh, okay. okay. That's not bad. Okay. <laughs> hey, Ben, if I leave you be, will you leave me be for one round circle turn cycle thing? <laughs> You heard me. So you don't attack me this turn, and I don't attack you, or do anything to you? You just leave me be. Leave for, you, what? For one turn cycle, don't kill me, don't attack me, just leave, leave me you alone. Be. How is that hard to understand, Ben? Protection from yeah. Ben. Yeah, yeah, pro Ben. Okay, do I get pro Blake until your next turn? Yeah, I'm not gonna kill your stuff. Okay, cool, yeah. Cool, that was easy, awesome. I don't know why that was yeah. so hard. I just wanted, the terms in our agreement yeah. sometimes in this show are ambiguous. Not with me. Eh. I will get the first ability of the Kami War, and that is exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls. I will target your Gandalf the White then. Oh, Gandalf, again? Uh, all right, so Gandalf is targeted by Kami War to be exiled, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, that'll resolve. Gandalf goes to command for the second time. He's got wizard things to do somewhere else, as usual. All right, I will play a Prismatic Vista for turn. I'm gonna spend four mana, and I'm gonna cast Historian's Boon. Whenever Historian's Boon or another non-token enchantment enters the battlefield under my control, I create a 1-1 one, one white soldier token. Whenever the final chapter ability of a saga I control triggers, I make a 4-4 four, four flying angel. All right, I got a 1-1 one, one soldier, and now I'm gonna pass the turn to CGB. The one who will not be named. The the, the problem. Yeah. Right. Uh, on your end step, I'll crack my expedition map. I'm going looking for a land. All right. I am putting Inventor's Fair into my hand. I will play the Inventor's Fair. I will spend four mana, and I am going to sacrifice the Inventor's Fair and search my library for an artifact. You got the mana to spare. I have chosen the one ring, and I will put that into my hand. Uh, let's play the one ring, and guess what? I gain protection from everything until my next turn. That is a trigger on Tishar, but I don't have a creature in my graveyard to bring back, which is sad. I will pay two mana, and that's all tapped. Oh my gosh, so many planes. <laughs> I will cast Stoneforge, Mi Stoneforge Mystic. I will search my library for an equipment card. I'll put it into my hand. Let's 
play the skull clamp. Let's equip the skull clamp to who wants it? You who kill a wants warrant? it. Ah, uh, no, it ain't like that. Uh, I'm going to have Tishar hang on to it. So Tishar is going to be a 3-1 flyer. And then I'm going to move to my end step. I'm going to activate Teleportation Circle. I'm going to target Lauren. In response, I'm going to hold priority, and I'm going to tap Lauren. Shay, you will draw a card, and I will draw a card. <gasps> Whoa. Since these two are in cahoots. Mm, thanks. Lauren will flicker, if that resolves, and enter the battlefield to destroy a target artifact or enchantment. I choose the Kami War. But that's mine. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh, vengeance must be You don't bad. like stories, CGB. <laughs> I like stories, the ones where I win. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead, Shay. All right, I'll untap and draw. All right, I've got a Black Market Connections trigger. I'm going to choose the top two. So I'm going to lose a life and make a treasure token and then also lose two life and draw a card. I'm going to pay four to cast a little old guy called the Ogmoth. Ooh. And I'll also pay one for a Cauldron Familiar. So when he enters the battlefield, each opponent loses a life and I gain a life. Jay. That does get around the protection. Um, all right, well, I'm going to move to my end step and pass to Ben. All right, I'll untap. Tapping four for a Knight of New Alara. Ooh. Each other multiplay. Multi Multiplayer. Each each other multicolored creature you control gets one one for each of its colors. Oh my! Jesus, is that a human? It is a human. Oh my, dude! Aragorn will trigger the white ability and the green ability. I'll make another soldier. I'll give the plus four plus four to one of my knights. Yeah, I'll go to combat and I'll make two more knights. I'll get. Two more knights going with four, and one of them still is plus four, plus four. And because I have six or more humans, I'll draw a card off of Aowen. Shay, I'm gonna swing with just my six, six trample haste knight at you. Okay, well, for blocks, I'll block with Yogmoth, who has protection from humans. What? Okay. So then I think I'll take two damage to trample. Okay, yeah. All right. Blake, it's your turn. All right, end of your turn, I will pay a life to sack my Prismatic Vista. I'm going to untap my things, going to upkeep my things, and a draw. And that will now trigger Battle of Frost and Fire. So this is gonna go to three. It's gonna put a couple triggers on the battlefield, onto the stack. So I'm going to have it uh, Historian's Boon, then Tom Bobadil, then Battle for Frost and Fire will finish. So Historian's Boon will make me a 4-4 Angel. And now I will trigger Tom Bombadil. We're gonna flip to Book of M Mazar Bool. So when it enters the battlefield, it will get its trigger, which is a Mass Orcs 1. And then this will also trigger Historian's Boon to make another 1-1 one, one Soldier. And then Battle of Frost and Fire will finish itself off. And whenever I cast a spell with man of cost val mana value five or greater, I will draw to the discard. Thank God, that was a long story. <laughs> <laughs> cool story, bro. <laughs> okay, tapping five, I'm gonna cast an Elspeth Conquers Death. Ooh, yeah. So if that resolves, I'll get another soldier from Historian's Boon. Boom. And then I will exile, there's like this really cool ring. There is. That's like not. But I mean, I'm at 17. It's like gonna kill me. Are you sure that you need to get rid of it? CGB, I don't think the light one life for a card is a deal I wanna make with you. So, no? No. No? But I'll save you from taking the one that you would take because you're about to draw a card. You, you seem worried about the golem. You should hit the golem. <laughs> Ooh, great idea. <laughs> Archaeomancer's map. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. Not the map. It's, it's got to be the ring, my friend. <laughs> it's the ring? Yeah. Targeting the ring? Yep. That will also uh, trigger my um, Battle of Frost and Fire, so I'm going to draw two and discard. Technically, is before it enters the battlefield. Okay. Um, I'm going to discard Sylvan Library. <laughs> I'm at 12. I'm going to tap the ring and I'm put a burden counter on it and draw one card. Yeah. Taste it. And then it gets exiled, sad. I'm going to use Nesting Ground and I'm gonna move my Book of Mars Arbul counter to my Elspeth Conquer's death. 
So it's going to trigger its ability to have non-creature spells my opponent's cast cost two more to cast until my next I mean, turn. I think it hurts everybody else way more than me, yeah, so that's like, fine. I mean, look how many planes I have, bro. Right. <laughs> All right, and then I think that's about it. Uh, gonna go to my turn. Let's go. I no longer have protection from everything. My tutoring of the one ring was foiled. Everything is sad. I will draw for turn. I'll play Phyrexian Core because one can actually get too many planes. <laughs> I will tap Lorne of the Third Path. Shay and I will draw a card. Ooh, thanks. No problem. Nine mana in my main phase hurts me a little. Gandalf the White on the stack. What do you guys think? Does that resolve? Good for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Happens. Skull Clamp, Lauren of the Third Path. This is a legendary permanent leaving the battlefield, causing a triggered ability to trigger, so it triggers twice. You draw four cards? I draw four cards. Oh! <laughs> oh, wow. All right, paying extra because of Elspeth Conqueror's death, we have a servo schematic. So when this enters the battlefield or is put into a graveyard, I create a 1-1 one, one colorless servo <laughs> artifact creature token for value. But this is a historic spell, so it triggers to Shar, which returns Lauren of the Third Path to the battlefield. All right. So Lauren of the Third Path will enter the battlefield and trigger twice because of Gandalf the White. And I've got my eye on some sagas over here. I'm going to target Elspeth Conqueror's Death and Historian Boon. Bang, bang. All right, two servos from the schematic. I will move to my end step. I will trigger Teleportation Circle. I am going to target Precursor Golem with the ability. All right, Precursor Golem will make four more golems because of Gandalf's ability. Yikes. Going up to eight. All right, I have to discard to hand size. And like I said, it's possible to get too many planes. So I'm gonna discard planes, 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 and planes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Your turn, Shay. All right, I'll untap and draw. I've got a black market connections trigger. I'm going to again choose the top two. So I'll lose three life total, create a treasure, and draw a card. Okay, I'm gonna pay two for a blood artist. Oh boy. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh God. We'll go three for an Ophiomancer. Okay. Well, that's gonna be all my things. I'm gonna go ahead and pass to Ben. Yeah. On tap. On Ben's upkeep. On Ben's upkeep. Oh. On Ben's upkeep. I'm gonna make a snake. Play a Temple Garden tapped. I'm just gonna hold back. I'm scared of you guys. Wow. Go ahead, Blake. End of your turn, I will crack my windswept health. All right, I got a Zagoth Triumph. Um, okay, also on uh, Ben's end step, I'm going to sacrifice a snake to Yogmoth um, and pay a life to do so. Um, perfect, and then I can put a 1-1 one, one counter on up to one target creature and draw a card. Um, I will target the Loran. The Loran? Mm-hmm. Cool, and then I will draw a card. A uh, Blood Artist trigger, who loses a life? Oh, right, a Blood Artist trigger, um, CGB. Yeah, it's gotta be me. Yeah. All right. Okay, I will untap. On your upkeep. I'll make a snake. All right, draw for turn. Uh, Book of Mazar Bull will trigger, and all that's gonna do is just put a plus one, plus one counter on my little army. All righty, I'm going to spend two mana for Strionic Resonator. I'm gonna spend two more, and I'm gonna cast a three visits. Alrighty, I got a Ketria Triome, which is gonna enter tapped. Alrighty, I will move to combat, and I'm gonna send my 4-4 Flying Vigilance at CGB. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Sorry, I almost misspoke. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, that's not good. That's not good. Um, so I, I guess I'm scary. I'm gonna try to get less scary. I'm gonna block with Tashar, actually. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> yeah, 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 under the bus. Um, so that's a blood artist trigger. It sure is a blood artist trigger. Uh, so I will gain a life and uh, the 3v1 feels bad um, against CGB, but I'll shoot you for one. Yeah, it's the artifact deck, never feel bad. <laughs> yeah, fair. And then after that, I'm gonna pass the turn to you, CGB. 
On the end step, I swords Yogmoth. <gasps> yep. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Do you have any response? Yeah, in response, I will sacrifice a snake using Yogmoth's ability. I'll pay a life to do so. Then I'll gain a life from the blood artist. Um, I will give a minus one, minus one to... Oh, Kill yeah. one of those servos. Get yeah, him out of here. Yeah. Mess him up. <laughs> um, yeah, sure. One of the servos. No! Bye-bye. <laughs> Johnny Five is dead. <laughs> uh, okay, and then Yogmoth goes bye-bye. So, so blood artist trigger? Somebody loses a life. Yep. Um, you. Retaliation. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And you gain two from swords on Yogmoth. Cool. All right. I'm going to cast Open the Armory. I'm going to search my library for an aura or equipment and put it into my hand. All right. I have searched for Swift Reconfiguration. That is an aura. So that will go into my hand. All right. Two mana. Swift Foot Boots. One mana. Equip Gandalf. Enough killing Gandalf. <laughs> Three mana, we're going to cast a Thopter Shop. He's just, just a wizard opening a Thopter Shop, guys. Whenever one or more artifact creatures I control die, I draw a card. This ability triggers once a turn. And for two and a white, I can create a Thopter a Flyer. All right, moving to combat. Ben, a red day when the dawn of men comes crumbling down. It might be this day. The machines are coming. Eight golems at you. Eight three threes. Whoa. I will block four of them one-on-one -on -one with the soldiers and both of my big boys. So two chump blocks and two very large creatures who smash the hell out of their golems. Yes. All right. And then you are going to take four of them? Yep. So 12 damage? Yep. 12 damage. Uh -huh. That is two death triggers for the blood artist. Actually, four death triggers, because two soldiers and two golems. So you have four blood artist triggers, Shay. Four blood artist triggers. Yep. Um, send them your way, CGB. Relentless. <laughs> 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 I know. Okay. He sacked the Teshar. I'm trying so hard. I know. All right. I, I tried to give Shay a chance. I really tried to give Shay a chance. But if it's going to be like that, I gotta, I gotta go to the next level. <gasps> I've gotta go to the next level. It's just how it is. All More right. planes? Nope, <laughs> nope, nope, nope. This is a flashed in Spine of Ishsa. When it enters the battlefield, destroy target permanent. Wait, that's an artifact. Triggers twice. Target the blood artist. Mm -hmm. Target Aragorn. Okay. He dies. Yep, that happens. Two blood artist triggers. Retaliation. Actually, they stack. I'm gonna stack the one that hits the, cause it, it goes on the stack mm -hmm. twice. I'm gonna stack it so that the one that targets the blood artist resolves first. I assume that's my one damage. Yes. Okay, and then it doesn't see Aragorn die. Okay. All right, I'm going to move to my end step. I am going to use teleportation circle to flicker the spine of Ishsa, <laughs> making it enter again and deal with two more things. So, Aowen, pow. Ah. Man. And Tom, we're just doing a tour of all those who have wronged me. Wow. <laughs> That's right. Cool. Out of there. Wow. His story is ended. Your turn, Shay. Um, tap. Oh, artifact creatures died. I get a trigger from the Thopter Shop. And because it was an artifact leaving the battlefield that caused it to trigger, I draw two. So you proceed. Lost two Howdy artifacts? Uh, it only triggers once a turn. Hmm. All right, black market connections, trigger. I'm gonna choose the top two, losing three total, creating a treasure, drawing a card. I'm gonna pay six for a mob rule. Ooh, wait, wait, what? What's huh? that one do? Uh, so I get to choose one. I can either gain control of all creatures with power four or greater until end of turn. Untap those creatures, they gain haste until end of turn, or I can do the same thing, but with creatures power three or less. Shay. No. <laughs> Shay. I whew, I won't counter it if you don't attack me. I mean, yeah, I don't really have a choice. Cool. That's fair. Uh, so I'm choosing the second mode on this. Which is? Gaining control of the creatures, all creatures, power three or less. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that's all my creatures. So. Um, 
Uh, yeah, I can't believe it, but yeah, that resolves. Woo. Oh my God, you you get it all. Yeah. Okay, crunch the numbers. Uh, so I'm going to send five of the golems to CGB. And then uh, from the Stoneforge Mystic to the Human Knights and everything in between, that is all gonna go to Ben. And if the numbers are right, that should add up to 25. Oh, and also my Cauldron Familiar and my, my Human Soldier in the mix. That makes it 25. The Cauldron Familiar, did you really have to do that? <laughs> That's so <laughs> Not <nice>. a cat <laughs> person? Brutal. All right, turn them sideways. Come yeah, on, we yeah, gotta yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah. We gotta see it. Yes. We gotta know the pain. Well, I can swiftly reconfigure one of my golems, but that won't save me. So I'll take that swift reconfiguration of my grave since it'll be exiled anyway when it's over. I will block, I don't know, one of them, but they're my own. So they're gonna disappear in a second anyway. And I die from all of my own machine golems who joined a mob for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, come on. They wanted let's to just, rule it. This is why the deck needs blue. Yeah, six real. mana sorcery should not beat me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm dead. Yeah. Oh no, guys. All right. Uh, I am going to move to my end step. I think I've done enough. Uh, I don't know. Terror on <laughs> the terror. table. <laughs> yes. Terror. Good uh, word. I'd call it that. Can, so, I my, can I have my stuff back then? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you can oh, thanks. have that. Oh, I'll get it myself, thank you. Okay, then I also got to discard down a hand size. I'm gonna discard a Talisman of Indulgence. Pash to you, Blake. All right, let's see what I can do. This is gonna be sick. Come I on. hope it's a cool story. <laughs> <sighs> I will untap. I will trigger Book of Marzar Bull. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> That's gonna amass two more orcs. Okay. Sometimes you draw it. So I'm gonna spend four mana and I'm gonna cast the Phyrexian Scriptures. So this is going to put a plus one, plus one counter on up to one target creature. That creature becomes an artifact in addition to its other types. I'm gonna choose my angel. And then I'm going to use the Nesting Ground to put a counter from Book of Mazarbul onto the Phyrexian Scriptures. So that's gonna go down to one. Phyrexian Scripture is going to go up to two, and I will destroy all non-artifact creatures. Boom. Whoa. 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 So the only thing right now that's safe is the angel. Angel, yep. Shay, responses. She's always, she always has it, right? She tries, she tends to, yeah. Quite rude. No responses, Blake. All right, well, my soldiers and zombie army will perish. And all of my creatures will perish. And then I will go to combat. I will attack you with a 5-5 five, five Flying Vigilant, Shay. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Good okay. question, though. Okay. I'm going to take five. Sure. And then I'm going to pass it to you, Shay. Okay. Uh, I've got a Black Market Connections trigger. I'm not a coward. Wow. I'm going to take six. Um, yes. Okay, so I took six damage. I will create a treasure token, draw a card, and make a 3-2... Shapeshifter. Tapping seven to cast Sauron. Ba ba da ba. John C. Uh, is back. <laughs> well, John C., I might not be able to see you, but I can still arcane denial your commander. Dude. You knew I had a commander. That's true, I did. Uh, it happens. It happens. Back to the command zone for Sauron. So sad. I'm going to move to my end step and discard a blood crypt. Um, all right, we're gonna untap. On my upkeep, I will draw a card and you will draw two cards from the Arcane Denial. Oh, sweet. <laughs> and then I will draw for turn and I will trigger my lovely sagas. Here we so go. So Phyrexian Scriptures will finish its lovely tale and exile your graveyard. And then I will amass two. So I'll get a two, two orc army. We are going to spend seven mana and I'm going to get my boy back. Welcome back. What's up, Tom? Tom. What's up, Tommy. Tom. Uh, I'm going to play a Sithis Harvest's Hand. Uh, so whenever I cast an enchantment spell, I gain a life and draw a card. I move to combat. Mm -hmm. And a slay Shay for five. In the air. Whoa. Vigilance. I have a response. No. Oh, yeah? I think I'm going to pay two for Rakdos Charm. 
Each creature deals one damage to its controller. So I'll take four. And I'll take one. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Oh my, this is getting scary. And I do have another response. Okay. I'm gonna pay two for a terminate. Targeting your 5-5 five, five flyer. Uh, yeah, my angel gets absolutely terminated, bro. Okay. And then it'll be your turn. <sighs> Sounds good. Black market connections. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> eh? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna choose the top two on the black market connection. So lose three, make a treasure, draw a card. I shall begin by tapping two for an orcish bowmasters. Uh, so when it enters the battlefield and whenever an opponent draws a card, except the first one they draw on each of their draw steps, orcish bowmasters deals one damage to any target. Then amass orcs one. So when it enters the battlefield too, oh actually, yeah. So you get to deal one damage to any target and you need and you can make an orc. Okay, so I'm gonna choose to deal one damage to your face, Blake. Ouch. Okay, and then I will amass orcs one. Then I'll tap two for a diabolic intent. And as an additional cost, you have to sacrifice a creature. And I will sacrifice the orcish bowmasters. I will let that resolve. So uh, I'm gonna go and look for a card and put it into my hand. All right, got my card here. I'm gonna pay four to cast a Falcon Wrath Aristocrat. Okay. It's a 4-1 flying with haste. Then I could sacrifice a creature and give it indestructible until end of turn. And if that creature was a human, it gets plus one, plus one. Uh, all right, I am going to move to combat. I'm gonna attack you, Blake, with mm -hmm. the Falcon Wrath Aristocrat. I got no blocks. You terminated my guy. Okay, before damage, I'm gonna sacrifice the shapeshifter, which technically is a human. <laughs> Weird looking human. And Weird it'll get human. a one one counter, so that's <laughs> five damage. Go to one? This is where you're at, your scariest, Shay. I don't know about me. All right, now I'm gonna play a bloodstained mire. I'm gonna tap it, pay one, sack, go find a land. Uh, all right, so I grabbed a swamp, then we're gonna make things interesting. Okay. I'm gonna sacrifice my commander sphere to draw a card. Okay. Because, you know, I think I might think I might have it here. Need one more damage. Draw a card. I'm gonna pay two using my last treasure to cast a Dance of the Dead. And what are you targeting? Would like to target my uh, orc my orcish bowmasters. So it comes back and deals one damage? One damage? It comes well, back. We're gonna respond to your Dance of the Dead. Sure. Shay, how many times have you kept a Fierce Guardianship in your hand for like 10 turns? No. And saved it for the perfect time? No. Put me on the board, because I'm gonna Fierce Guardianship that. <laughs> oh, oh no. <sighs> I gotta respect it. Thank you. I gotta respect I it. I respect the absolute chutzpah to come after me that hard. Like, geez, oh, geez. I was hustling. Yeah, you were. Trying, trying. GG's. GG's. Anything else, Shay? Uh, <sighs> ah, oh, no. <laughs> All right, is there enough damage here with the, yeah, let's, oh, let's yeah. see what the damage All comes right, out to. All right, so we're gonna untap. Uh, draw, uh, this is gonna trigger Book of Mazar Bull. It's going to give my creatures plus one, plus zero oh in Menace and trigger Tom Bombadil. That is the um, crucial plus one, plus zero oh in Menace though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll copy it, the Tom Bombadil trigger. <laughs> okay. Uh, Weather Seed Treaty, which yeah. I'm not gonna trigger any of these. I just wanna Oh, you don't have a choice, them. it's in the rules. You have to okay. trigger it. That, no, it's <laughs> <laughs> You just and wanted then, to tell more freaking stories. Right, then the Cruelty of Gix. Oh God, would it be funny if that entered on chapter two and you died. Uh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> you could. I'll choose not to. <laughs> okay, um, are you gonna? Uh, no, yeah. Gonna ah, ah, ah. Nope. Read I, ahead. Read ahead. Chapter two. Let's go. <laughs> I've given it a lot of thought. I'm gonna move to. I'm gonna ignore these cards. I'm gonna move to combat, Shay. I'm gonna attack you for lethal. I'm dead. Oh. Like the stories we win. did it. That was a the great story. story. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, wow. Ah, I missed the beginning. Wow. Can you tell it again? Happily the ever after. Happily ever after. <laughs> I'm in a bath. 
I'm crying. <laughs> that was a good try, it, Shay. It is. Oh, yeah. That was Shay, a good was try. One life. The hustle. One, One life. life. It One was close. Life. It was really close. If only a gut shot. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. I didn't want to counter the demonic uh, intent. The the tutor. Yeah. Because I was more afraid of any non-creature you get, and then you got a creature that got me to one. I was like, Shay, no. <laughs> oh. ah, spooky. All right, well, that's it. We're going to do our CoolStuffInc.com card of the game. All right, we're back for our CoolStuffInc.com card of the game. Make sure to use promo code WORST at checkout just to show a little love for the show. Um, I will start, and mine had to be the super well-timed Phyrexian scriptures. That kind of saved me. <laughs> um, and it turns out the, the, the third ability was pretty good against Shay's hand at the time, so it worked out. Yep. Uh, CGB, what was your card of the game? Precursor Golem! <laughs> I made a Golem army. It was really cool. Nobody targeted it with an instant or sorcery, because you fools only play like creatures and enchantments. So well, yeah, because Mob easy. Rule doesn't target. Yeah, yeah, easy game. Uh, the, the army came right back and killed me, so nothing but fun here. <laughs> Shay. Uh, yeah, speaking of that, my card of the game was Mob Rule. Yeah. What a card. Um, what I've a never card. cast that card before, but it was super sweet, and it, it always feels good to take out more than one player at a time. You know, yeah, it's yeah. like, oh, I'm, yeah. really, I'm really doing something. Here. What could you have done to, pr to, to convince the machines to march against me? I'm the only one here repping the machines, man. Good point. It's kind of unreal. Yeah. Ben, card of the game? Mine is one that didn't stick on the board that long, but it had much potential and it was very dangerous because a certain CGB wanted it gone. Mana cannons. Yeah. It had to get, nope, had to go. The, the yeah. potential was too high. You guys did so much damage to me that was not combat. Like, I didn't get attacked, like, almost at all until the very end. It was Blood Artist, it was Aragorn, and it was... Like, I was just gonna get burned to death, so. I do wanna shout out your Lauren for this game as card of the game, because wow, she I've never hard. seen a Lauren yeah, with that better. Right. Hard working gal, yeah. love her. Yep. All right, well that was quite the, quite the insane game, crazy ending. Thanks so much for listening to our story. <laughs> you stayed to the end, that's the most important thing you can do. And from all of us here at the Worst Possible Commander Show. You're, you're cool. cool.